Today is December 17th and it's a Thursday. And I am Stan Ross and I want to talk to you about public data. Public data is free information and can be used over and over with no restrictions on accessing it. Let me say again, it is free information. Anything that is free, I would definitely want to hear about it. Public data is very important to college students because of the amount of research they do for each class. And public data is just not um, just for college students, just for everyone. But just for you to get an idea of how public data works, uh, if I was doing a research paper on 2015 election, uh, I would go to a search engine such as uh, Google or uh, WebScoHost or something like that to find all that I can on the election. And anything that pops up is public data because what is it? It's free and it has no restrictions. Uh, today I just want to talk to you guys about um, the purpose of public data, uh, effects and impacts that public data serves, technical aspects, and some um, relationships to data. Uh, as you can see my website um, definitely is on the top is a banner of a, a triangle with the eye um, and it says public data at the top um, with someone pressing uh, basically and putting his hand into the world and uh, I think that this banner just represents uh, public data so well because it's the eye of the beholder and the eye sees it all. Um, I to, to construct this website I definitely had a lot of help from um, Khan Academy uh, they definitely taught me how to uh, put my HTMLs, my doc types, uh, my heads, bodies, and um, just closing and opening uh, paragraphs and titles and also headings. Um, and definitely the purpose of public data is uh, the purpose of public data is basically is to give people an opportunity to find information and gain more knowledge um, without having uh, basically to pay or to do extra to find it. Um, public data is just an easy way to, to, to get to and easy to share. Uh, public data gives you answers to questions people need more research on. Uh, it also has to have an open data license, and when it is licensed as public, it can be reused over and over as much as people want. Uh, these pictures on the side of my website definitely uh, just just represent it just represents the, the United States and how these dots are saying it's data in every state. Uh, and all that data is open data that is just free and as you can see it's a dot in almost every state meaning that it's all over um, and on the right side uh, you see that it says license Texas Kentucky and these are both pictures from Google that I uh, put into this website because I felt like they just represented um, how how world how nationwide public data is and it's being used all over the United States. Uh, and then under I have a video that I uh, received from YouTube and um, this video just explains the importance of public data and the purpose it serves. Uh, next on impacts you can see the chart uh, a video um, of Stan Ross and another graph that uh, just shows you something that uh, is a health care problem for children um, in Rwanda. It's just showing you that it's public data. Uh, it also is telling you about how um, the illnesses that children at the age of five, um, it's causing them to, to die and basically is showing you all the children in Rwanda uh, and 
parts of Africa and then all over the world uh, is showing you the rates that they're dying at. Um, and basically that's just public data. So if someone sees this, um, we're aware of it and uh, they can also help, uh, help with medication and um, communicate with each other, knowing that they are aware and can also help each other. Um, if we go back to the top of the page where we see this graph right here, or the chart right here, um, it was just a survey talking about how how many people knew about public data or just what it was. Just had some idea of what public data is, and uh, out of the people that we've, um, out of the people that we let take the survey. 66.7% uh, said they did not have any idea what public data was. Um, and it's so funny because 66.7% said they don't know what public data is, but I guarantee you six, out of all those 66.7, 66.7 people probably all use public data, which is kind of um, funny to me. And 33.3% uh, of the people who took it uh, definitely said they had some idea or just heard of public data before. Um, right here we have an interview with a lady named Kristen Casamento and just talking about, it's just a short video talking about her views uh, on the impact of public data. <laughs> And that was just a short video, uh, just, you know, of the interview and um, some of me talking about the impact of public data and, you know, what public data is. Uh, if I could indicate one field other than computer science, which public data has impact or has a potential to impact, I definitely would say public data 100% uh, helps college students just in like they're researching with um, different topic issues every day. Uh, search engines like Lexis, Nexus, EBSCOhost, Google Scholars, and etc. are engines that help students find all the data they, they want without limitations. Uh, public data allows college students to expand on their topic issues by allowing them to gain more and more details on their research. Um, and here you see a picture uh, basically just saying that the government approves I think it represents just saying that the government approves that approves of public data. Um, public data is just, it just it definitely provides college students with a base for their research. Um, the tech the technical aspects of public data uh, definitely describe how a user interacts with the uh, with public data. Users of public data are trying to improve their knowledge on topics and public data is allowing them to do so. It is doing so by giving them unlimited access beyond just academic information. It also helps people improve their lives such as update information, press releases, knowing where sex offenders are located, travel locations, and more. Uh, public data also helps people find job descriptions. Um, to find potential new jobs, it can also find other people like recruit, like helping recruiters. Uh, for example, if I was a college recruiter and I needed to find, if I was a basketball college recruiter and I needed to find the next LeBron James or Carmelo Anthony or Dwayne Wade, something like that of the sorts, um, public data is on high school websites of uh, finding people, you know, 
finding people is also public data when you put their information their public information on your website uh, so if I was a college recruiter I would go on a high school website and you know find their players and it gives information about their hometowns uh, their age their birthdays their families um, so it wouldn't be hard to track that player down and uh, basically try to <laughs> recruit him to my school if I was a college recruiter. Uh, it also, public data, it can also help other people. Um, for another example, if I was someone who had a family and kids and then I moved in to uh, a neighborhood, I could use public data and search up all the registered sex offenders that were in the neighborhood, um, basically giving me an idea of where my children could not go or where they should not hang around. And um, if there wasn't any sex offenders, I would know because uh, just because of the public data that allows me to see that and uh, I could go to work peacefully and never have to worry about my family or children. Uh, public data is definitely, it is data. It's absorbed by data and it's only about data. Uh, data is gathered in a couple of different ways. It can be researched and experimented and used by students and other professors and scientists to be peer reviewed or written about. Um, public data can be gathered by surveys or police investigations, something as simple as filling out a college application for getting admitted. Uh, you know, I, we've talked about so many good things public data has, but um, let's talk about, let's just talk about a, a downfall in public data. Uh, just as easy as it to find a sex offender, it's just as easy for a sex offender to find you or an attacker or uh, rapist or killers. Uh, it's just easy for them to find you just as it's easy for them, just as easy as for you to find them. Um, People who have these social media such as Twitter and Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, MySpace, Bebo, Tinder, etc. Um, when they have these social networks, they tend to put all their personal information on their account, thinking that only their friends are the ones able to see it. But uh, the fact of reality is <laughs> it's public data because it's open to everyone. And now those pedophiles to find little kids or rapists to find women or even the killers to find their victim now they're all on uh, those social networks hunting and searching for their next victim um, so that's definitely a major security uh, concern that I would say but um, for the most part public data is is very useful um, and it's only very but as it is useful um, it definitely has its concerns as well uh, um, and again, like I say, how I uh, got my pictures were definitely from Google. Uh, I uh, my banner was edited in the Pixlr and uh, the animation website. Uh, I definitely uh, created my video that you've seen on the impacts page. Uh, it was by recorded by phone, updated to YouTube, um, went into the YouTube edit system and edit my video and just uh, made this masterpiece right here uh, on public data. Uh, thank you for all your time and I'm Stan Ross. Thank you.